Good morning and welcome. So, <clears throat> one of my major goals here was to, when we got to Montana, was to start gardening. And, uh, you know, this is an area where we're in growing zone 6B, or 5B, and uh, we have approximately 150 day growing season. And so far this season was a true test of uh, not only basic gardening skills, but how things here would affect the gardening. And I certainly faced quite a bit. Uh, you know, we should be starting our, our vegetables and all that in May. It starts, and we did do that, but June itself proved to be one of the wettest months here. It rained almost the entire month, um, and the day that uh, we decided to plant, we took on hail. Um, as you can see, the garden itself it did pretty well. The second garden did not. That was uh, that was uh, cucumbers and uh, zucchinis. Uh, those didn't come up very well at all, and uh, they got trashed pretty heavily by the by the weather. Uh, we had to start out by first uh, making our planter boxes, um, and then doing the soil, which we used a, a mix of soil and compost. Um, definitely have to do some soil improvements to increase that, and. Um, then with the continued heat and weather, uh, we also took on an infestation of uh, grasshoppers, which uh, ate almost everything um, down to a nub at some point. Some of my plants didn't get it, some got torn up pretty badly. and the second one uh, did pretty well. The problem I had with the tomatoes overall was that <clears throat> with the heat fluctuations, once we got past the rainy season and my plant started to take off, <clears throat> we fought you know, temperature variations constantly. So even with uh, a lot of watering, what I was getting was a lot of uh, uh, tomato splitting as the tomatoes would get going uh, because they were just so thirsty, even though I kept watering twice a day. Um, you know, they just didn't fare as well as I wanted them to. <clears throat> and then because of the shortened growing season, of course, um, here we are uh, uh, towards the very end of it, and I still have uh, tomatoes that are green, which I'm going to have to pull off and bring inside just to have those uh, ripen as well. In the end, you know, uh, this is my first growing season here in Montana, and it has been uh, it's been a, a learning experience and an eye opener. Um, some things they did well uh, was that we uh, got started 
and got our boxes built. Uh, it's a good test for the larger uh, garden we're planning to do next season, hopefully. And uh, <coughs> I also understand some of the plants that we eat quite a bit and some that we do, that are just not. We're not. We I grew some beans and they did fairly well, but not that great. I'm going to try a different variety next uh, next season, uh, as well as some different other plants, and see how those work out for me. Overall, I'm pretty excited about my growing season. I think it's it's been uh, it's been hit and miss, but uh, but it's it's gone pretty well considering <clears throat> I have a lot left to learn and there's some things we'll do to kind of change things up. Uh, we'll definitely put down some compost and some other uh, items to try and build up the soil for next growing season, and I will certainly be doing my starts and all that a lot earlier in the season. <coughs> In a, probably in the garage with a grow light, uh, so that that way I can I can get that uh, get that garden next year. Uh, but overall, you know, we did get some meals out of it, and we started the process as as one of our primary goals. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that in the end. And we'll see what uh, what we may or may not do as far as uh, fall produce goes. All right, talk to you later.